so today I am doing an unboxing and so this is the story. Around uh, Halloween time, Zombie Baby, who's a fellow YouTuber, and I started doing Secret Zombie instead of Secret Santa. So we usually just exchange like a box of goodies uh, around October time. And then she started doing it with some other people too, exchanging Secret Zombies. So today I picked up my package from her at the post office and I will show you what's inside. I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know what's in here at all. So it's like my first reaction. So first off, she got me a postcard. It's Carnival of Souls. And that noise in the background's my baby, Val. I don't know, he's being cranky for some reason. So yeah, I thought that was a cool um, postcard. Thank you. And then she gave me a card, and I haven't opened it yet, but it says Secret Zombie. It says Humpty Pumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Pumpty had a great fall. All the ghouls, horses, and all goblin men enjoyed pumpkin pie again and again. Happy Halloween. That's so cute. And then she wrote a note in here to me, but I won't read it because it's probably personal. Alright, so here is the box that she sent me. Oh my god, there's like so much stuff in here. Okay, first off, look at how cute these little tissues are. Swanky hankies. With a little skeleton guy with a top hat. That's so cute. I go through like so many uh, tissues. I'm like constantly blowing my nose. I think it's a problem. Like I really think that I have an issue blowing my nose. Like I don't know. I think I've said this in another video, but if there's like any wetness in my nose, I freak out. Like I hate it. I constantly just have to blow my nose. I know it's strange, maybe gross, but it's the truth. Next is, let's see. It's a crashed witch decoration that you put on your door. That's so funny. I've seen these before. That's cute. It's got purple in it, my favorite color. Oh, I think I saw somebody had one of these. And I don't think, was it Celtic Goth? Did you get one something similar to this? And it was meant for like kitchenware, but you were like, I use it as like a back scratcher. This is like awesome because I always have an itchy back. Oh my gosh, she's too funny. Like, she put, like, a ton of, like, plastic, um, what do you call it? Skull rings in here. I should put one, like, on every finger. They don't really fit my fat fingers. My baby said my fingers are fat, too. How's that look? And let's see what else. Oh, a cute plastic bat. I used to have a bat, maybe not as large as this one, but it was plastic. And I used to have it hanging in my car from like the rear view mirror and like the string was like kind of elasticy, and it would just like, and like hit me in the head while I was driving and stuff like that and swing back and forth. I had to finally take it down, but. Maybe I'll put this one, like, on my, my dashboard or something. Some vampire teeth. Like, those plastic ones that, like, you wear for Halloween, like, little kids and stuff like that. Maybe I'll save them for my son for when he gets older. Maybe he'll want to wear them just, like, for every day and not Halloween. That is if he is ends up being darkly inclined, like, I am. I hope. And then she wraps a lot of stuff in, like, this cute tissue paper. I think this might be like a hair bandana or a scarf. I'm not really sure. Maybe she wrote it down in the um, thing, but I'm almost positive she made this because she's crafty and she sews a lot of stuff and she's made me stuff in the past. But how cute is that? Oh my God, if I can get it around my hat. What do they call those little like hanky ties? 
I forget what they're called. Like guys usually wear them. If you can, if you know what it is, write it down below. What is this? Well, this is obviously a scarf, and it has a bunch of like spooky sayings on it. Oh, tomb, sweet tomb, happy hauntings, witches, witching hour. What else? Dead end highway trick or treat potions. That's so cute. I like to wear these like as hair ties. If I don't end up using them as like a scarf or something, you know, tie your hair up or tie it back with like a little scarf like this. There's like so much stuff in here. I don't think I got her nearly that many things, but I'm not like talented like her where I can like sew and stuff like that. Like I can't figure out how to, not that I can't figure out, but like I can't like uh, thread my sewing machine. I always forget. So then I'm like too lazy to like figure it out or to go online and to be like, okay, this is how you do it. I'm like, fuck it. I just do everything. I just end up stitching everything by hand, which takes a long time. And then I'm like, do I really want to do this? Oh my God, this is so awesome. I think I remember her saying she was going to make these. They're coffin shaped bags to put your makeup brushes in. Like they have the little pockets here. I love this. I have one, an, a different one that she had made and she had given to me. It has like the day of the dead. Um, designs on it and like I, I keep all my brushes in there in the drawer it's just so handy but this one I love with the the witches on it the orange and the uh, black and the bats on it that is so cool she should like sell these things I'm serious like on Etsy or something like that oh this is for my baby too cute to spook a bib this will be used year round not just for Halloween time. I have two other Halloween bibs that I showed in another video of mine uh, that somebody had given us and he, he, he's just gonna use it like after Halloween. And this is like a gothy like black and it's got lace shirt. That's so pretty. I need shirts because after I had the baby, like nothing fits me. Like I literally had to go out and buy like a bunch of cheap clothes because I really didn't want to spend a lot of money on stuff because I am cheap. Like this shirt I got at Walmart for like $5 because I'm like, I have no clothes. I can't even fit in my jeans or anything like that. They like don't come up over my hips, I think because my hips spread and like didn't go back yet. So I can't even wear like jeans anymore. I've been wearing leggings a lot. If that's too much information about my hip spreading, I'm sorry, but <laughs> this is an awesome shirt. I love it. There's like a ton more of these like rings in here. She's so funny. What is this? Ooh, makeup. I have, oh, I have, I have, um, so this is the L'Oreal True Match. Uh, foundation. What does this say? Super blendable makeup. Uh, it has sunscreen, SPF 5, uh, 17, soft ivory. And I actually have their, um, like the powder, like a compact powder that I really like because it like really like, um, gives me a nice, like matte look. I don't like, like to have a shiny face. But if you guys can read that, I'm actually really curious about trying this out. So, and I'm running out of foundation, so this is good. Thank you. Oh, cool. Wet, uh, whatever. Hard candy lip lacquer. I think I was looking at this at the store when I was there recently. And I have a bunch of, like, um, hard candy lipsticks. That, they're like really awesome. Like they have black, like, like a blue one I think I have, a green one that I've worn in a lot of my videos. And this is like, um, like a maroon color. That's really pretty. I have a shade similar to this. I think that like I did, I did like in a favorites video that I got because I wanted a color 
like this that I don't know reminds me of like the 90s I said like the look of the 90s when people used to wear lipstick this color like I just I love it that's awesome my baby's going insane over there if you can hear him like screaming well he's happy he's not, not upset let's see elf waterproof lengthening and volume volumizing mascara I've never tried elf mascara I do have a bunch of their things and I like all their stuff their stuff works really well for me like and it's like you know not wicked expensive so I've never tried the mascara I'm looking forward to trying this out cool oh it's a onesie for my baby look at how cute that is that's so cute Oh, another one. I love this one, too. So cute. That was so nice of her to think of the baby also. Now, I found this at the bottom of the box. Zombie baby. I think it, like, it was supposed to be a hair clip because it has glue on it. So I don't know what was clipped to it. Or it was it thrown in the box by accident. Or maybe that gigantic bat. You made that into a hair thing? Where did it go? I don't know if you meant for this to go in my hair. Or just to be like clipped onto something. But yeah, the, glue, the thing fell off. So let me know if that was your intention. And if it was, then I will glue it, try to glue it back together. And then, uh, what do you call it? I can use it. I can clip it onto something. Wow, so she got me like a ton of stuff. I'm like blown away. She's super sweet. If you don't know who she is, zombie baby. Uh, she is like the nicest person i chat with her not only through youtube but like in our personal life and we always are like communicating back and forth she's so crafty she's always doing different things at home as far as like sewing and different uh types of diys she's does uh family outings she's like a very caring person like she always has her kids in the video like wanting to be part of like her youtube channel which i think is so sweet and i don't know she's just overall like one of my favorite like people and favorite youtubers out there because of her you know just really kind and genuine personality and yeah so if you don't know who she is then i will link her channel below and you can check her out but i just wanted to share this with you guys it's just like something nice you know like to exchange gifts with one another and it doesn't have to be anything fancy or expensive you know just like something to show like your creativeness and that you care for the other person and you know I just think it's awesome so yeah let me know what are your favorite items I think my favorite might be this scarf with all the different like sayings on it definitely this thing I want to keep this like downstairs on the end table to, so I can scratch my back with it and I'm really looking forward to trying out the makeup she got me the mascara the lipstick and the uh, liquid foundation so yeah, that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. And until next time, stay dark, my friends, and I will talk to you guys later.